Hey, hello everyone, my name is Chris and welcome back to another movie review. Today I'm gonna be reviewing Sisu and as usual I'm quickly gonna go through the story of this movie to tell in short what this movie is all about, then I'm gonna share my own opinions and thoughts about this movie, so in case you didn't watch it, one big spoiler across the screen, and yeah guys, just click away from this video to avoid spoilers and come back after you watch a movie if you want to, if you don't want to, you don't have to, it's totally okay, but if you really are interested in my opinions and thoughts about this movie right now, then stay with me till the end of this video and let's get started. Alright guys, Sisu is a movie that's been released in 2022 and this is action type of a movie. Story of the movie is set in 1944 uh, during the World War II where Nazi forces are retreating from the Finland and we follow the story of this old man that's obviously been in war and he decided to leave all that life behind him and uh, find something else to do in life, you know, and just got away from all the violence and, you know, trauma and everything. And uh, he's actually a gold miner and at the beginning of the movie he finds a pretty huge rock of gold and he decides to take that gold and uh, take it to the city to get the money for it or whatever. And uh, that's pretty much where the entire story of this movie uh, starts and where the entire action starts so he puts all that gold uh, on his horse and he's moving towards uh, the town and on his way he meets the convoy of Nazis and first uh, they let him go because uh, they tell him like he's moving towards the death anyway because they're coming from the way where they uh, killed everyone, you know, where everything is burning and all that, and he's just uh, riding on the horse towards that way. And there is this uh, tank commander, which is the commander of that entire convoy unit or whatever, and he's the main villain in this movie. So he first lets him go, and then uh, after some time, he runs into another group of Nazis uh, that are also part of that uh, convoy, but they were left behind because their truck broke or something and uh, they make him get off the horse and they realize that he's carrying gold that is very obviously valuable and there is a bunch of gold so they go like all right we're rich boys and they try to kill this old man but they fail terribly he fucks them all up he kills them all and he takes his gold so he pretty much just defended his, himself because uh, they wanted to rob him and kill him and then this tank commander uh, comes back uh, after he heard the shots and was wondering what's going on and he finds a bunch of his uh, dead Nazi soldiers and uh, after that he decides to chase this old man and uh, pretty much through the rest of the movie he is trying to hunt him down because he killed his Nazi soldiers and because he realized that he's full of gold and that entire military convoy together with that commander is just trying to kill that old man and uh, take his gold and he is struggling for survival and he is struggling to complete his mission which is bring the gold to the bank or whatever and that's pretty much the entire story of this movie in short of course there is much more going on, but I'm not really gonna go through all the details. I think you should just watch the movie because because it's absolutely fantastic. I absolutely enjoyed it. This movie was like watching World War II version of some very old Rambo, because that's literally what this old man is. Uh, after he kills a bunch of these Nazis, they found his dog tag and they questioned uh, some authorities about his identity and they figured out that he is actually a Finnish commander uh, that nobody wants to fuck around with and they just tell him to turn back and not to mess with that old man because uh, there are stories about him where he killed a lot of people and some even believe that he's immortal he's very tough motherfucker you don't want to mess with and They've been warned and, uh, and despite all that they still go after him and try to kill him through the entire movie. It was so great. The ways this old man kills the Nazis and just slaughters them is absolutely satisfying to watch. There is a scene where he ends up in the minefield and mine blows up his horse and the entire movie is very bloody gory and brutal, nothing is censored, 
you can literally see all the blood, guts and body parts flying around the screen which was something extremely satisfying for me to watch. I really absolutely enjoyed it and I really liked the minefield scene where he just takes the mines and throws them at the Nazis and blows them up and you know they realize they're messing with very skilled Finnish commando and you know it's like one man army you know he's one against all of them and uh, in that convoy they got bunch of uh, Finnish women they kidnapped and uh, they're raping them and all that and uh, on his mission to you know get his goal back and get his revenge on these Nazis he also rescues these women which was something uh, really great and satisfying to watch uh, there is also a scene where he's swimming underwater and they're trying to kill him and he just drags these Nazis in the water one by one and cuts their throats and just sucks the air out of their throats so he can stay longer under the water. That shit was badass. I especially love the scene where he gets uh, injured really badly. Through the entire movie he suffers extremely brutal physical injuries and uh, they're all almost inhumane and insurvivable and uh, I'm not saying this movie is realistic if you're expecting something realistic to see in this movie then don't watch this movie because it, this movie is extremely unrealistic you know this guy survives things that are almost impossible for a human being to survive but that's exactly what makes this movie so badass and so fun to watch. You're just watching one old indestructible man patching his wounds through the movie. There is a scene where he just grabs some old rusty wire and, you know, stitches himself up. And, you know, he disinfects the wound with the gasoline. And uh, they even hang him at one point in the movie and he still finds a way to survive that and I really love the part where the old Nazis started to fear him. At one point they had him at gunpoint and they just got off the bike and ran off because they started to believe he's immortal and he, they're like, we cannot kill him, we better fucking run. I absolutely loved all the sequences in this movie. These were some of the greatest moments that will stick with me for definitely a lot of time. When I was going to watch this movie, I honestly didn't expect that much, but damn, this movie was a lot of fun. There is a lot of brutal combat with guns, with uh, cold weapons, hand-to-hand -hand combat, all kinds of stuff. Action is on point. Uh, again, it's pretty unrealistic. It gets even ridiculous at some points, but... That's not why you want to watch this movie. The The reason you want to watch this movie is just simply because you want to see an old man slaughtering Nazis in the most brutal ways possible and delivering some good old justice. And that's it. That's the entire point of this movie. And it was very well done. I really enjoyed all the uh, movie shots. The camera angles were so steady. You can follow up everything that's going on on the screen. What I absolutely love about the main character is that he doesn't speak almost a single world word through the entire movie. He says some word to his dog at one point in the movie and then he talks to the bank keeper at the end when he delivers that goal. And that's it. Simply not a almost a single a single world was stole by the main character in this movie and yet he's such a badass. It was so enjoyable to watch. Definitely if you are into action movies and if you're a fan of World War II, I definitely recommend you to check this movie out. They combine World War II with some really good action, unrealistic one, but very satisfying and fun to watch action. So I definitely recommend you to check out Sisu. You're not going to regret it. It's a great movie. I really enjoyed it. And uh, honestly, I would love to even see some sequels to this movie or maybe some prequels about maybe this old man when he was young and, you know, what he did in the army. You know, I think there is more materi material for, for this kind of movie. I think it was great, honestly. So I definitely would love to see uh, more of a backstory of this character and how he became such a badass in the war and what he all went through you know there is just only one small part of the story about him 
told in this movie. I think there is much more that can be created about this character. So yeah, guys, uh, that's it for this movie review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then go ahead and leave a like, share, comment, or subscribe uh, if you want to. If you don't want to, you don't have to. It's totally okay. You can also join my Chris Facebook group. Uh, link is down below in the description. So you can easier follow my posts there if you want. And yeah, guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate all of your support and everything you've done for me and my channel so far. You're amazing. I love you. And I'll definitely see you in the next videos. Chris out.